In college sports, the sign of a great program is their ability to reload when they lose key players to the NFL or graduation. That will be tested this year in Pullman at the receiver position, but there's plenty of reason for excitement this time around. Will Sherrod has more. These guys are phys physically talented. They can do things that a lot of guys can't. A changing of the guard is underway in the air raid. It's fun to just throw them up a 50-50 ball, and most of the time they come down. So. Gone are Gabe Marks and River Craycraft. I don't know what y'all want me to tell y'all. It's not like they could, they could stay here for like 20 years. Two of the most prolific pass catchers in school history. I miss them, but I, I, I know I can't do well on it. I got like six other guys I got to focus on. The returners, large and promising. If you're going to be any good, you have to have quite a few. Tavares Martin, the leader of the group who tallied the second most yards a year ago. It's a team sport, so I just want to go out there and play with my, my teammates and just display my talent along with the other guys displaying their talents. The emerging talents, a sophomore duo in 6'4", Desmond Patman, in 6'3", Isaiah Johnson Mack. The physicality and, and uh, just their physical talents come out and jump out to you. Um, we're just getting consistent with them right now, and you know I'm pretty proud of their work ethic and what they did this offseason, and now we just got to produce it this fall. Six foot five senior CJ Dimry is another intriguing target on the outside, while veterans Kyle Sweet and Robert Lewis return on the inside with junior college transfer Aesop Winston entering the full. Then, as always in Leach's offense, depth is key. Expect four star freshman Jameer Calvin, Tay Martin, and Renard Bell to all push for time. It's just all about clicking now. Of course, it doesn't hurt to have number four at the controls either. With the Cougs, I'm Will Sherritt, KXLY4 Sports.